This is the Onion News Network, a tomahawk of honesty in the skull of lies. I'm Brooke Alvarez. Our top story tonight, Congress has passed a bill naming incomprehensible shouting the official language of the United States. After attracting the attention of several leaders in Washington last year, the initiative's political supporters argued for months that the nation should formally recognize incomprehensible shouting as the only truly American way to communicate. I'm sick and tired of listening to people who say that Americans should not know what to know, and that's not what it is, what the policy is. The red-blooded American is what we have in this day and age. But opponents say the legislation is unnecessary. Everyone already knows that if you live in America, you have to know how to scream and holler. It will make an absolutely no sense at all. This is just cheap political point scoring, and it's blatantly unfair to those who have, have come to our country from level-headed, polite societies. The movement started in 2008 with a grassroots organization called Americans, we're doing it right because we got it now because who else right? Come on! Under the new law, public school classes will only be taught in incomprehensible shouting, and government agencies will no longer offer translators to non-shouting speakers. In addition, a new test will be added to the naturalization process, whereby potential immigrants must prove they have a working knowledge of incomprehensible shouting before they're granted citizenship. I do uh, export-import, and uh, many of my clients, uh, they are American. I have to learn to say things like, shut up, shut your goddamn mouth, let me finish, and, ah, uh, oh, you son of a bitch, Oh! The legislation still faces a potential veto from President Obama, who favors naming dulcet tones as the national language. Tomorrow night, the Onion News Network's special report from the Congo continues as we take you inside the bloody unrest in spectacular 3D. I'm surrounded by three full dimensions of horrific bloodshed. So keep your 3D glasses on, because you never know when somebody could be raped at gunpoint right in front of you. A full hour of in-depth coverage of the brutality like you've never seen it before. Spraying blood, machine gun fire, starving orphans coming right at you. Feel like you're on the killing fields with the Onion News Network's reporters. Feel the carnage. Feel more informed. Devastation in the Congo, a 3D special report tomorrow night at 8, 7 central, only on the Onion News Network, the first name in 3D news.